Hi, my name is James and I'm a representative from Open Source Steel. And today I'd like to show you our filter stack designed to filter out fine particulates in your extraction process. First, let's go over the parts in our filter stack. Here we have a four inch by four inch spool with perforated backing plate welded in the center. Next, we have a pair of stainless steel retaining rings designed to hold in our filter papers. And in between those rings, we'll use our stainless steel backing plate designed to support our second filter paper. Lastly, we'll be using two different sized Micron ashless filter papers in 11 centimeters designed to fit this four inch filter stack. Be sure to purchase the correct size as we carry many filter stack size options. Now let's go ahead and assemble our filter stack. First, I'll place the four inch filter stack body on the table in front of me. Then I'm gonna grab my three micron filter paper and place it atop the filter stack, making sure to keep alignment with the gasket indentation like so. Place a retaining ring atop the filter paper and go ahead and press evenly down on all sides. The filter paper is gonna fold up against the retaining ring as we push it down to the bottom, creating a snug fit. Place our perforated backing plate on top of the first retaining ring, like so. Following the backing plate, I'm gonna add a 20 to 25 micron filter paper. Align it with the gasket indentation like before. Place our final retaining ring on top of the filter paper, pressing evenly down again on all sides. Ensure you hear the ring bottom out in the filter stack. That will complete our filter stack assembly. When you're adding the filter stack to your material column, it's always important to keep the orientation facing upwards and change out your filter papers each run for a particulate free extraction. I'm James with Open Source Steel, and that completes our filter stack assembly. I'll see you in the next video.